the little turkey emerger. Um, you can see just by looking at that, it's a fish catch and fly with a shadow down. Now this works on reservoirs, but also works very well in um, rivers. You're looking at the tail end of pools before it comes into the glide, uh, where the bigger trout tend to hang about. Quite often this fly will take fish that are actually feeding on the surface, um, taking up wings and sedge. So it's a really good bet, it's a good prospecting pattern if you can see fish moving. So let's go ahead and tie them. In the vise, I'm going to put a Hanak Check Nymph 306BL, a nice emerger looking hook. Some black flush just to create an underbody, so it's something to tie on. And here we try the tricky bit. Here we've got some wild turkey by it. It's really quite long. Great feather to work with, but it's very, very fragile. So we just take, separate one. Just tie it in by the tip. Not too close to the tip. Otherwise, like I say, it's very fragile. And then wind your thread back up to the thorax area, which is probably the middle of the hook shank there. Take a pair of hackle pliers, just work the shank, work the feather around the shank. Be careful that you're taking every turn beyond the next one so you get that wonderful segmented effect like so. As you can see, it really does look the part. Now if you want, you can colour to get rid of that white. I really don't think it makes any difference. I actually quite like the white. It's a little bit different for the natural. So it's something for them to key in on. As you can see, a wonderful segmented effect here. Now, another tricky bit is the deer hair. Take some deer hair, take quite a generous bunch, and then place it in a hair stacker to get the tips lined up. Forgive the banging. Just line up the tips like so. Take out any stub ends that manage to get in there. And then catch this in. Just pull the tips back. We'll trim these. This is your thorax cover. And again, with the deer hair, what it gives you is that wonderful buoyancy and the fly sitting just perfect in the water. So, like so, come in with your scissors, trim away the tips. And I've got here a prepared partridge feather. Catch that in by the tip as well. Make sure it's nice and straight. Come in with the scissors. Just trim away for the eye. No, a little bit of fox squirrel as you're dubbing. Catch that on the thread. Gives it that wonderful leggy appearance, which is what you're after. Wind down over the tying silk. Give us a little bit of space, just behind the eye for tying off. And then bring your partridge hackle up and over. Tying. Make sure it's straight. Split either side. You can see straight away it's just the perfect little beastie. And then bring your hairs here. This is a bit fiddly. Your hairs here, sorry, your deer hair. Bring it all up and over. There's the thorax cover. Making sure 
the partridge is either side, like so. Just quickly check I'm happy with that. Stop this deer here spinning. A couple of locking turns. Yeah, that looks a boy. That looks a boy. And then just come in. Trim your deer here. What I like to do is leave a little stub. You'll see what I mean. Pull the fibres back, and you're tying off point as usual. It's just behind the eye, but I just kick that deer hair back a little touch because you want to trim that like a little stub, just like you would with a, a cardis pattern. Elk hair cardis. Pull the fibres back. Try and keep everything nice, neat, and tidy. And you can add a little drop of varnish there. Grab all your deer hair. And just create a little stub. Like so. It is. Perfect. Turkey emerger. Looks the part, you know it's got a catch fish. <laughs>